It's like a cold metal thing. It's just like one of those, oh no, champagne-y sort of toned one. I'm just gonna paint this. Oh my God, yeah, it makes such a nice eyeshadow. Me too. Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna be testing some new in popular makeup products. It's not gonna be quite a full face, but I, well, I guess, no, I am gonna do a full face. Not every single item on my face is gonna be something new, but I've got some of the new stuff from Rare Beauty. I have got Robert Welsh's Ciate collaboration. I've got the Trigwell Cosmetics Powder Puffs, which I've seen so many people on TikTok talking about. And I thought I would try and recreate the makeup that I had done yesterday because I don't know if you guys follow me on my Instagram, but I actually went to a Rare Beauty event yesterday and the global stylist of Rare Beauty and one of Selena's makeup artists actually did my makeup. I meant to say it is the incredible Cynthia that did my makeup. Her Instagram is synth underscore pop and she is so talented. And it turned out so nice and I really want to try and recreate that today. So I have like some of the products that she used. So I'm going to try my best. I mean, she did perform wizardry on my face, um, but I'm going to try and recreate it. Let's get into it, guys. I'm just going to start off with moisturizing my face because I have not done that yet. Yeah, it was such a cool event yesterday in London. I'll put a little picture on the screen of what my makeup looked like or like a little video. It was just super glowy fresh lightweight skin and then um she used one of the new rare beauty highlighters she also used the highlighter on my eyes which i wouldn't you know necessarily think to use it as eyeshadow but she used one of them as eyeshadow and it turned out so beautiful but it was a very surreal day because i don't know it was like a photo shoot kind of thing and i had my makeup done i had my hair done and to get to go to a really cool event like that with rare beauty which is one of my favorite brands it was just a really cool moment so i actually bought this foundation brush ages ago and i've still not tried it <laughs> i don't know why but i have the foundation and the concealer brush which i think was used on me yesterday i'm gonna use the rare beauty skin tint stuff, tinted moisturizer. I've got the shade 22W. She kept the skin super light and fresh. I'm gonna try and work more like a makeup artist today <laughs> and try and go a little bit less heavy handed than usual. Cause the base yesterday felt so lightweight and she just sort of like buffed a very, very light layer and like patted. She did a lot of patting motions. I think because she noticed that I, ha I was having a bit of an eczema flare up yesterday and I was speaking to her about it. And she said, you know, I don't want to irritate it too much. She was just like very gently patting over those areas. And then on the rest of my face doing these sort of like sweeping circular kind of motions. But I guess a good way to not irritate any dry patches is to pat over it. I'm also going to tell you guys some of the things that I learned yesterday because it was really interesting watching her work. And she was such a perfectionist as well. She spent over an hour doing my makeup and like it wasn't rush she really like paid attention to all the details and didn't let me leave the chair until it was completely perfect and how she wanted it and how I wanted it and asked if there was anything I wanted to change like if I felt comfortable with it and yeah it was just such a good makeup experience because I've not had my makeup done that many times in my life um, and I've had some lovely makeup artists who have been amazing but I've also had a couple of times where I've had my makeup done where they've just been very aggressive and very rough and um, this foundation brush is really nice luckily minus the eczema flare up that I was having yesterday I was having a pretty good skin day in terms of like breakouts and stuff just like got a little spot there. And the way that she worked is she did a bit of the skin and like the base and then she went onto the eyes. Then she did the brows, I think. And then the final step, she did like the bronzer and blush and highlight and stuff and added powder at the very end, I guess. That way, if there was any sort of like fallout onto my face, she could just sort of like wipe it off and like blend it back in again. I don't know. I don't know why she worked that way, but I mean, it worked out really well. I need to use that more often. <laughs> so these are the new things from Rare Beauty, which are the Positive Light Under Eye Brightener. And I've got light to medium and light. So I'm gonna give you guys a swatch of both of them. And it's got a really interesting applicator. It's like a cold metal thing. <laughs> Those are the swatches there. It's not really concealer texture. It's more of like a serum-y skincare kind of thing with a bit of tint in it, or I guess like a lighter weight concealer. Um, so I'm gonna use the shade light. I'm just gonna take a bit of this collection stretch concealer in the shade Cashew to conceal some of my blemishes. Oh, and I'm using the little concealer brush from Rare Beauty. Which, by the way, I think they've restocked the highlighters now on Space NK. Let me just double check. They have indeed restocked the highlighters. I will leave them linked down below. She did put a little bit of concealer under my eyes, but not too much at all. Just like a little wash of concealer. Another tip that I learned yesterday is to work in light layers. Everything was just like very small little patting motions, like little bits of concealer here and there. She was very like gentle and like light-handed with everything, which I really like. And with the eyeshadow, oh my god, the eyeshadow was a process. And I have my eyes closed for a lot of it or like wasn't looking up in the mirror and it felt like she was putting loads of eyeshadow on and like she kept dipping back into different colors and like blending it over it all and like adding different shades and it felt like she was putting loads on and then I look up and it's like the most beautifully blended 
diffused and she brought it out really really far it felt like but I guess that was just like with a clean brush to blend it out and I was expecting to look up and have this super dramatic eye look and I looked up and it was just so soft and beautiful so I think take your time on eyeshadow is another thing that I learned yesterday with the eyebrows she put in a little bit of um like soap brow stuff I think just to sort of like get them into shape and then added a tiny bit of pencil but she definitely did my eyebrows a little bit lighter than I usually would I really liked how they looked that they just look very soft and fluffy so I'm gonna try this which is the new benefit fluff up brow wax it says it's flexible brow texturizing wax I love the original benefit brow gel but this one is supposed to be like a softer less sort of crispy version so I'm just gonna put some of this through my brows oh yeah it's very soft and fluffy and I'm gonna wait for this to dry and see if it feels sort of crispy at all I like the feeling of this benefit stuff it almost feels like a kind of soap brow type thing I like for my eyes I have got the collaboration box which is Robert Welsh's collab with Ciate this box is 35 pounds and you get five different full-size products in here and I love Robert he's great so thank you Robert for sending me over this you know what I don't think I've ever tried Ciate um one of their like little eyeshadow palettes before I've tried they're bigger ones but I've never tried one of these little um I was gonna say quads that is definitely not a quad nine pan palettes but this actually looks very similar to the type of colors that I was wearing on the shoot yesterday just sort of like neutrals browns let me first just blend out this concealer also because I have my eyes closed I didn't see what she used as a base she really sort of contoured my eyes I guess I'll take this shade for that um I might mix it with a little bit of this one because it was a slightly warmer shade I think it was just with a bit of bronzer she kind of blended it quite high up above my crease um, and I could feel her sort of like blending it down to here as well to sort of carve out the hollow of my eyes and she said because on camera you know the lights were quite strong she want, wanted my eyes to have some definition so I'm just going to put down some of this colour and then I'm going to make sure that I blend it all out really nicely. This shade is pretty pigmented so I'm just taking a tiny little bit. But yeah I can feel her blending it sort of like right up under my brow bone. I'm just going to open up this which is the Ciate Extraordinary Translucent Powder. But I'm going to dip into a little bit of this powder on a clean brush to just sort of like blend out the edges of the eyeshadow, diffuse it a little bit more. It's just like one of those, oh no, very translucent finely milled kind of powders so i'm just gonna take a little bit of this on a on a brush and just use it on the edges of that eyeshadow to blend it out and i think it was this shade that she sort of like buffed out on the edges but like very very softly and go back in with my clean brush then i'm pretty sure she went in with a slightly darker brown shade but most of the shades on my lid were shimmers but i think she may have taken a little bit of a darker brown that wasn't a shimmer first so i'm gonna take this one and just on the very tip of this brush because it's quite a like little pointed one i'm gonna just take a little bit of that on my outer corners but literally just here so let's just take a little bit of that here Oh God, okay, I should have tapped off the excess there. And then I'm just gonna blend that back inwards, but not too far, because most of the depth was just on my outer corners. Honestly, when I kept looking in the mirror, I was like, wow, it just looks so nice. It almost felt a bit like bridal, the look that she did, because it was so glowy and like just naturally enhancing my eyes rather than piling on too much product. So far, these eyeshadows are really nice. I like, I like build that up a little bit more. I'm just doing very small little circular motions to blend it out. But I was talking to her about her job in general and she said that she's been a makeup artist for over 20 years, which I found mad because I mean, she didn't look old enough to have been a makeup artist for 20 years. Like it was just very interesting to um, hear like a bit of her story and how she used to work for MAC and she did a lot of traveling. And I mean, still does get to do quite a lot of traveling with Rare Beauty and she's worked for Rare Beauty. I think she said it was, well, since the beginning, I'm pretty sure. Um, but yeah, she's their global stylist and she does Selena's makeup quite often for their events and stuff and she was just super friendly and it was so interesting to chat to her and she also said their favorite product from rare beauty is the liquid blushes which i think everybody's favorite product from rare beauty is the, the liquid blushes i'm going to take the highlighter in exhilarate which is this champagne-y sort of toned one <gasps> Oh my god. The texture of these highlighters is very thin. Um, hopefully you can see, like, it doesn't really add too much texture onto the skin. It's more like a wash of glow. They're very, very soft and delicate. Um, I did get sent a PR package with these in. Two of them actually arrived broken, but I was able to fix one. Um, I did a little, like, TikTok reel video. Actually, I think it's on my YouTube shorts as well. And then she took the shade Enlighten, which is the white one, which is one of my ones that was broken. But you know what? I mushed it back in with a whole load of alcohol and it's perfectly fine and perfectly usable. I wasn't going to waste that. So the white one is very, very bright and she used that on my 
inner corners and also on my brow bone. And then I'm pretty sure she went back in with a shimmery darker brown shade over the top on like my outer corners. So I'm just gonna paint this. Oh my God, yeah, it makes such a nice eyeshadow. She took it sort of all the way up to that fake crease that she made me with the eyeshadow to like carve out my lid. Oh my god, oh my god. I need to start bringing my eyeshadow sort of like down to here as in like my transition shade because that has made a world of a difference. It's almost like carved out my eyes, which I guess was the whole point that she did it in the first place. But do you know what I mean? Like I never normally bring my eyeshadow in that far. So that is that on my lids. Oh, hey Pinky. One sec, I just need to go feed my dog. I just looked in the mirror in the hallway and if you're a bride, I feel like this would just be the most perfect, almost like the most perfect eye look and the most perfect product for it because it doesn't look heavy at all it just looks so like shiny she then used an even smaller brush and a darker shimmery eyeshadow so i think i'm gonna go for wait let me just swatch these two there's that one and that one um i'm gonna go for the one in the middle but oh that looks like a really nice shimmer as well actually you know what these shimmers in this palette also feel really soft oh that gold one is stunning yeah the shimmers in this little eyeshadow palette are also very soft and beautiful that gold one especially i'm just gonna take some of that darker brown shimmery shade and add some of this on my outer corners that almost looks exactly like the color that she used yesterday actually but she just sort of put it on my outer corners and also like dragged it along my lash line a little bit i'm just gonna keep going back to the pictures you know what i think i'm kind of almost nailing this so far <laughs> if I do say so myself. I don't think my crease was quite as defined as this. I think she may have gone back in with a little brush and just blended over it ever so slightly, just so there wasn't as harsh of a line there. I'm just gonna take a tiny bit of this shade from the Ciate palette and just add a little bit of that on the very center of my lid. I think she took a little sort of pencil brush, kind of like this one, and went back in with some of that dark brown shimmer shade and almost like did a little line across my outer corner like in my lash line then i'm just going to quickly blend out the little bit of creasing that i have in my concealer but she then took really really close to my lash line on a tiny little brush that darker brown sort of shimmery shade and just literally did it really really close to my lash line and didn't sort of like blend it down or anything the absolute star of the show was the enlightened shade which she put on my inner corners and i closed my eyes and i could feel her just doing like a little circle here but that just is so bright. <laughs> like that. And she stamped on a tiny bit of black eyeliner, but literally just in my lashes pretty much. So I'm just going to do the thinnest little line. This is an eyeliner by Shiseido. It's the Arch Liner Ink, but NYX has got a really good dupe for this. I think it's called That's the Point or To The Point or something. But something that I also found so interesting is that she said she also was studying graphic design and she said that she didn't initially want to be a makeup artist and she was going to be a graphic designer and I was like, me too. For my mascara, instead of using a disposable spoolie, she took the Rare Beauty mascara and sort of like um, took some on the back of her hand. Then she used a tiny little fan brush. I'm trying to see, I don't think I have one that's kind of similar. Kind of like this type thing, but thinner. And she got the mascara on that and then painted it onto my lashes. And she also curled my lashes for me without ripping my lashes out or without hurting me and was able to curl them. I'm like, I can barely curl my own lashes, let alone have somebody else curl them for me. So I don't know how she did that, but she did an incredible job. But because obviously I don't need to use a disposable thing for my mascara, I'm gonna use a mascara myself. And this is the Wonderland Ciate mascara that comes in the little set. I'm not sure if I've tried this before, but I'll give it a go. Oh, it's quite a dry formula. Very separating, very dry formula, which I like because it's not too messy. It's a pretty lengthening mascara. It's not got tons of volume, um, but it's definitely a very separating one. So if you don't like your mascara to clump too much, I'm trying to not put too much on because I am going to put on some little individual lashes. I like the formula, but I usually go for more volumizing mascara. And then she put a tiny bit of mascara on my lower lashes, but just like the tiniest little bit. And it was just at the root. Oh God, which is really hard to do with this mascara bra. Yeah. I think that was about it. I might add a little bit more later, but for now, <laughs> that'll do. I'm gonna wave this to dry. I'm gonna finish off the rest of my face. Then I'm gonna stick on the lashes because she stuck on these tiny little individual lashes and it just tied everything together so nicely. So I'll do that at the end. I'm gonna use the Rare Beauty stick. She did actually powder my face and then use a powder bronzer. Um, not a Rare Beauty one, just because uh, Rare Beauty doesn't have a powder bronzer at the moment. So she used the Charlotte Tilbury. I think it was the Charlotte Tilbury, like the powder bronzer because she powdered my face and then was like, we need to bronze. But I'm going to take my Rare Beauty stick and just do like a wash of bronzer, like similar to what she did. So I'm just taking some 
on my cheeks, obviously. But usually I would paint it directly onto my face. Instead today, I'm just doing a little bit of this. I definitely had a little bit on my forehead, but not too much. I think she did put a little bit on my nose, but didn't, you know, sort of nose contour, but just like brought a little bit onto my nose. For my blush, I'm taking the Rare Beauty blush. I think this is the Melting Blush. This one is in nearly neutral. I didn't have tons of blush yesterday, but I just had enough to give my face a little bit of colour. So I'm just patting a little bit of this on. And again, there was a little bit down my nose, but not too much. That was actually probably a bit much. And this is probably a bit more blush than I had yesterday, but that's cool. I'm gonna stop there. So then I'm taking this brightness stuff. I'm gonna just dot a tiny bit. Let's do, wait, let's do one eye first and see the difference. I'm just taking the concealer brush. Yeah, hopefully you can see the difference. It just adds a little bit of coverage, but without being heavy at all. If I just add it now to the other side, and do the same amount. I kind of like this little applicator because it just gives you the right amount of little dots. And then just blending that down a little bit. It just brightens a little bit. Like if you're a full coverage kind of person, probably wouldn't be enough coverage for you, but it's just supposed to be like a makeup, skincare hybrid kind of thing because I think it's got skincare benefits in it. I wouldn't be able to use this without powder, I don't think. I'll probably use that quite a lot on like no makeup makeup days. So now, we powder. Finally got the Trigua Cosmetics Powder Puffs. I was finally convinced from TikTok. Everyone has been talking about these. I am usually perfectly happy with my Primark Powder Puffs, which look like this. They come in a pack of three, and I think they were two pounds or two pound fifty, and they are really spongy and soft, and they're not, they don't, because you know like some of the cheaper powder puffs, they almost feel a bit rough around the edges, and they can stab you a little bit. <laughs> these Trigua Cosmetics Powder Puffs, they're 14 pounds. You do get two, and they are pretty big. They are definitely a big powder puff, and I've got, you know, what guys i've got to say they feel very soft they are incredibly soft like that is the softest powder puff i've ever felt i don't really know if it's going to come across on camera um because of like how dark they are but it's just a really sort of like smooth soft like my primark ones are pretty soft this one definitely feels softer whether or not it's because i've washed this a couple times and this one i haven't i don't know but um but i've seen people using these on tiktok and they're like oh my god it's like it made my under eye bags completely disappear and i think that's just kind of powder puffs in general if you press powder into your under eyes the thing is right it's all about the lighting and like the camera quality of your phone if you're filming on your front camera of your iphone any areas that you don't want to pick up on texture if you add a little bit of powder and make that area matte then the light doesn't bounce off it and it looks perfectly smooth whereas if you look at it in real life yes it still looks smooth but not as smooth as it kind of appears on camera so let's see i'm gonna use the ciate powder and let's do one eye at a time so i'm gonna take a tiny bit on this and just sort of tap off the excess on the back of my hand oh my god yeah it picks up loads of product Oh, this powder is really, really nice. I think it does leave a little bit of like a white cast almost though. So I fear that it would have flashback, but oh my gosh, that is looking so smooth. Wow. Okay, let me zoom in. Let me zoom in. Okay, so as you can see, it's not like got rid of my under eye bag completely but because it takes away some of the reflection of this you know it does look very smooth i mean my under eyes don't have the coverage that i would usually like because the concealer that i used under my eyes wasn't like super full coverage but i mean this powder puff feels really nice it, it does feel amazing and i love how spongy and soft it feels um i'm actually going to use my primark one on the other side just to see if there's any difference let's just blend out those creases again taking my primark one same amount of product and then again, just tapping under my eyes. I mean, they pretty much look the same, if I'm honest. The powder puff has done pretty much exactly the same thing. This one feels a little bit less soft than the Trigua one. In terms of like the smoothness under my eyes, they both feel the same. So I'm just gonna set the rest of my face. She didn't use tons of powder on me yesterday, but I'm gonna powder it a little bit more and then use a spray to sort of bring back some of the glow and obviously the highlighter as well. My first initial impressions on this are, I really do love how soft it is. Like it's definitely softer than my cheaper Primark ones. Um, In terms of the way that they apply powder, they are very similar. Like the Primark ones kind of do work just as well. This one just feels a little bit softer. The benefit with the Trigua ones, obviously they are a lot bigger. So if you're trying to cover like more of a surface area, then it's, you know, you can sort of like 
well, I mean, obviously don't use them both at the same time. You could. Also, I like how this is pointed so you can really sort of like get up there close to the crease of your eye. And also another thing is obviously you're some supporting a smaller business. I do really like these and I would definitely use them again. And yes, they are more pricey for a powder puff, but I've got to say, I've not actually come across a powder puff that is that big and spongy. Correct me if I'm wrong. Do you absolutely need these in your life and are they going to erase your eye bags? No, <laughs> realistically, no. But I do like them. I think uh, in my excitement of the powder, I accidentally got rid of the inner corner highlight. <laughs> so I'm just gonna add a little bit more of that white shade. I'm taking the shade, exhilarate. Oh, it just looks, it looks like a macaroon. Like I kind of want to eat it. I don't even like macaroons that much. They just looks like this packaging is just so yummy. And she highlighted really kind of close to my eye. So I'm just taking a little bit of this and then sort of like diffusing it and then sort of like diffusing it all over my cheek. These highlighters are stunning. Like it's such a nice wash of glowiness. And then down my nose, I think she took a little bit. Let's put a little bit up here. I wouldn't usually put it on my forehead, but we're gonna go all out today. Um, She definitely put some on my cupid's bow. Maybe a little bit on my chin. Oh my God, they are stunning. Oh, it sits so nicely over the rest of your makeup. I nearly forgot about my eyebrows. Let me just feel them. <laughs> But, um, Benefit Brow Wax is almost dried, kind of like brow soap. I like how my eyebrows feel and they look matte. Um, so I'm just gonna take a little bit of pencil. She didn't take too much though and just add a little bit of extra colour. She also did my eyebrows slightly thinner than what I usually do. So I'm not gonna thicken the tails too much. I'm also taking some of the 4-in-1 mist th stuff just to bring back a bit more glow. This is the part that I'm slightly concerned about. I don't know which individual lashes these were because I actually took them off very carefully yesterday so that I could reuse them. They were just these tiny little, you're gonna go to see this, like tiny little, oh, um, I don't know where they have gone. I literally cannot see them. Why did I think that was a good idea? Where did they go? Guys, I'm not even trying to be funny. Like, I actually just lost those lashes. I bet next time I film, I'm gonna find them stuck to something. She took some lash glue and put it on a little tray. And then she dipped each little individual lash into the glue and then just plopped it onto my eyes. And I was actually mind blown at the speed in which she did this. But she was saying how she loves little individual lashes. And I think she used them on most people. They make such a subtle difference, but they look so natural and like blended with my lashes. Bear with me, because I've never put on individuals before. I've done like the little clusters, but these ones look a little bit more more fiddly. I don't know how she did this so quick because it is quite fiddly. <laughs> I'll be right back. Okay, so the lashes are on, I think, I hope. And they do just look so natural compared to like a strip lash or something. And then on my lips yesterday, we used Worthy Lip Liner and Worthy Lipstick. And then a little bit of one of these like glossy balm things. This one is in Nearly Apricot. So that is what I'm gonna do. Lipstick. And that is my makeup done. You know what? I think I've done a pretty okay job of recreating it. I'm happy with this. The eyes just look so pretty. You know what? I'm just gonna go see if this powder has got flashback and I'll be right back. I just went and stood in a dark room and took pictures and you know what? I've now just got the flash like repeating in my eyes. You know what I mean? I look a bit scary in these pictures um, because I cannot really see. <laughs> I think the powder has got a tiny bit of flashback, but you know what? I thought it was gonna be a lot worse because it is like one of those white type of powders. I did only use a really small amount and kind of pressed it into my skin and then used the spray afterwards. There is a tiny little bit of brightness under my eyes where I've used the powder, but it's really not too bad. And I've got to say, the rest of the skin, like this makeup looks flawless on camera. If I've got any brides watching that are wanting to do their own makeup, I would go for something like this, to be honest. I, I love it. I love it. I feel so beautiful. And in terms of the products I tested, in this video. Uh, the Benefit Brow thing, I do like that. I would definitely use that again. Oh, and Robert's Edit. The eyeshadow palette was really nice. I like that powder, actually. I'm gonna have to use that powder more because it made everything look and feel really smooth. The mascara is okay. It's not my fave. Um, there are two other products in his collection, which are the Velvet Cloud Lip Powder. It's like a powder to cream kind of formula that you can put on with your finger or put on with a brush. I have to say, I have tried these before from Ciate. They're not my favorite. Just because they are quite dry, it almost feels like it's sort of like a lip pigment. You would definitely have to, if you have dry lips, you would definitely have to put some kind of balm over the top of it. But there is also this in there, which is the Dewy Sticks Luminous Highlighting Balm. And this one is in Glow. And I'm pretty sure I've also tried this before as well. It's just a sort of translucent type highlighter, like cream highlighter. But this type of product isn't my favorite kind of product to use. If you like kind of like 
like creamy, subtle highlighters and just something that's gonna add like a little bit of a wet looking glow to your skin. We all know how I usually go with cream highlighters, like they're not usually my favorite. But just in case anybody's interested, those are the other two products that you get in this box. And the powder and the eyeshadow palette alone, um, I think the eyeshadow palette is usually 22 pounds. The powder is usually 18 pounds. So altogether, that's already setting at 50 quid and the box itself is 35. So you basically get some free stuff for your money if that makes sense so i mean all in all it's a really good deal and even if you don't like every single product in the box if you have a friend or something that does you could maybe split it with them the trick well powder puffs i do like they are very nice it is quite an expensive powder puff but um i will definitely continue using those the rare beauty highlighters are stunning so i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up if you would like to subscribe i would love to have you let me know what you think down below in the comments and i will see you guys in my next video